Is that Brandon? Is that B? Papa Brandon? Oh, let's, let's ask to where. I guess this will be a little conjoined episode. With what Brandon has to do. Check your... Um, I think that's pigs. Oh, Discord. Ooh! We might have a nice juicy deal! What's up, guys? It's Leroy Jenkins here for another video. A Police Sim NYC video. And as I said before, a promise is a promise. And so, here we are. I promised. You know, you guys saw Papa Brandon. He called me in. In addition, I was blessed with knowledge. And now, boy oh boy, I promised it in the aircraft video too. When we were looking at the airport, I promised more stuff. Your boy is delivering on the promise because I am honorable and I honor my promises. So without further ado, you know, I'm not trying to waste any time here. Let's dive on in to the new evidence of more of the aircraft and airport interior. So without further ado, let's get on to evidence picture Number one. Alrighty, now guys, we are back. And as you can see, here it is. Picture number one of the interior. And so what I'm guessing is the interior will most likely be enterable and you'll be able to go inside of the airport. But I mean, look at this thing. This thing looks absolutely amazing. It's a little IHOB. Like, you know, how there's IHOP, but it's IHOB. Well, they made International House of Burgers. So, that's what, what's it called? That's what IHOP actually made. So, they made it in the game, too. You can get yourself a hamburger. Um, and, yeah, they already have a model for it. If you remember from version 3, there was a hamburger model that was like hamburger. And then you ate it. I think it might have said, mm, or it said nothing. But it did say hamburger when you pulled it out of your inventory. But, yeah, look at this. You see this. You see the, the what's it called? The floor. The flooring, as you can see. Brandon over there, you know, with the pictures, you know, you, got, you guys have really got to thank him. You really and truly have got to thank him. Uh, but once again, uh, there'll probably be a couple more of these in the hallways, you know, just little food. Uh, what's it called? They have them in the malls. They're just in the middle of him. Just the little food venues, I guess. I'll just call them a venue since I don't really know the real name. But just little venues, something like this that's small easily made you know just put it here put it there put it there put it there put it there and so on and so forth it doesn't even have to be this detailed like this it this could be a specialized thing where you know it looks like they put some effort in but they could just get like some random you know just any type of little small box shop make it into a nice little box and just put it down it's not enterable but it's just there maybe vending machines they could also have what's it called just vending machines just lining the thing they, they, they won't be usable, but they'll just be there, uh, that, that sort of thing. But, you know, I didn't just come here to make a video just for one picture. Come on, my dude. When your boy is, you know, if I'm going to make a video on something, I'm going all out. I got the ammunition. I got the ammo. And I'm ready to show you guys more airport interiors. So, without further ado, let's head into... Airport number two. I know that's kind of whack, but whatever. I like it. If I like it, you like it. Hmm. Alrighty now, guys, here it is. The second piece of evidence, and this is the mother load, my dude. The absolute mother load. I'm going to break out the pencil for this, or the pen, whatever. Because over here, you can see TSA. T S. I'm on a laptop with a mouse, so or I have a mouse, so there's no there's no what's it called actual pencil I can just draw on. But yeah, TSA Transportation Security Administration, that's what that stands for. And boy oh boy, do we got this! This is just like I said, the 
mother load of information. We got down here. We have the enterable security gates where you're going to get uh, searched and all the stuff by the TSA people who, you know, search everywhere, your shoes, your bag, you. Um, you got a picture of New York City over there. I like that little, you know, part of that. But let's let's go. Ooh, what was that? All right. But let's actually zoom in because, boy, oh, boy, we got the money. We have a nice waiting area. I mean, dude, if they do all this and it's not enterable, I'm going to be, I, I'm going to feel like I got bamboozled. I'm going to feel like we all got bamboozled if we can't enter it after they did this much work. Let me tell you, if you're going to do this much work, and it just goes on display? No siree, Bob. No way, Jose. It's like working on a car. It's like working forever on a car, and then you never drive it. Like, I never understand how people do that. Or they just buy a car and then leave it and let it collect dust. And let me tell you, cars were made to be driven. If you don't drive a car, then guess what? It doesn't work when you want to drive that same car by because you just... It may be brand new. It may not have thousands of miles on it, but guess what? Let me tell you, it's better to drive 10 miles every day on a car to get to like, I don't know, 100 miles instead of 100 miles over just, you know, every 10 days you go 100 miles. It's way better on the car for that 10 miles every day for its consistency. Consistency is key. I like to say that. I always say consistency is key. But over here, I think this is, this is Alaska Airlines, American Airlines, um, more pictures. I, ooh. Goodness, they got, oh wait, sorry about that. They got pictures in New York, pictures in New York, pictures in New York, pictures in New York. They got tons of pictures of New York. It looks almost, it's not the same picture I know, but it's just different shade, different filters go over it, different shades, different other things. Uh, like you can see, this is Times Square because you got the little McDonald's and then you got that classic little Times Square thing right here. You got these two towers over here. I feel like by me drawing on it, it just pixelates it even more. Is that just me, or is it, you know, or am I just seeing things? Oh, that's not good. But yeah, you see, we got we got tons of stuff, my guy. We got a plant. It's a plant. Come on, bro. They included a plant. <clears throat> that's how you know they got attention to detail when they got that plant. In addition, of course, there's outside. All this will probably be through a glass window, as you can see right over there. Sorry, you got to see the little ugly gray part, but... Hey, you want to see if you want to see it or not, you know, got to make do with what you have. Um, but I even see it. I even see it right now. This is like the little um, um, conveyor belt that they're going to use for RP. I already see it. I already see it. I don't know if they meant to do this or not, but I can already see it. You know, RP people have just see things that I can't see, that the developers can't see, that so many people won't be able to see. You know, they're just individual. It's uniqueness. Of course, they got all the plants lined up. You can still see the city in the background. That looks like either a runway or the highway. So there will be a highway or runway over there. Uh, they got lights galore. We got what? What is that? One, two, three. Okay, let's, let's, let's mark it so that we actually, you know, actually keep track of it. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, man. Whoever made this... Oh, I got to redo all, undo all that. 16 lights. But let me... Ooh. Whoever did this room, man, whew. If any of you guys do Roblox Studio, you know how it crashes and stuff. I personally don't. I only hear horror stories about it. But, man, if you, can you imagine if somebody did all this work, right... And then it ended up crashing and none of it saved. So they had to redo it all. Oh, bro, that would absolutely suck. That would, oh my goodness, just the pain. But hey, possible other team? Hmm? Another team? Question mark, question mark, question mark. TSA team? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I would get it. But I would probably, I don't know. I feel like having a Homeland Security team would be easier. But hey, it's not my decision. It's their decision, so the developer decision. Uh, but as you can see, once again, it is in studio, so you know it's that exclusivity, fo uh, bonus by my boy Blegox. You know, 
Blood Ox and Brandon. BB. Got the two Bs over here. Blood Ox and Brandon. Absolute powerhouses of information. You want information? They got information for you. All right. Uh, but they also have some, like, the little details, you know. This probably, this took them some time to add these little, these little things on the ceiling up here. These little pillars on the ceilings that are running all these which ways. That takes time. So I feel like I, even if, you know, the average person isn't really going to care so much. I care because it took time to make, you know. You know, let me tell you. For all you know, that those pillars could have taken longer than these things. And as far as they know, they're going to appreciate these things and they're going to see these things way more than they're going to see these pillars. So, hey, I appreciate everything about it. Everything about this thing, I appreciate. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the seeing all this, seeing all this stuff, seeing how it built up, seeing it, you know, the TSA, Homeland Security. I don't even know. TSA, Homeland Security, man, there's so many different options. And, you know... I did manage to speak to the head developer, the dev branch himself. And he, I know, I, I showed him some of your comments. Because like I said, there's a reason why they all get hearted. Because I actually read them. You know, I showed him your comments, showed him your ideas, you know. And he actually agreed with some of them, you know. That maybe they might end up in the game. Or at least they're going to be a concept for, you know, if he wants to add another call. Bam, he has a list of, you know, ideas already there so let me see that in the comment section down below some more call ideas put them in the comment section and it's okay if you don't think of it now you can think of it next week two weeks from now you can think of it today tomorrow next week next month just put it there so that it's there so that your comment you know it'll get read bruh i put it on most recent and it goes through every single video and it goes through to see what the most recent comment was whether you comment on a video from two months ago or just yesterday i see it so yeah leave the comments down below but you know what i feel like this is a great place to end it off so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing this you know if you didn't get the heck out of here because you're just a hater but anywho hope you guys enjoyed enjoy this here 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 here, here. take it all in take all of this glorious picture in you know, while I'm out here talking. But I, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. If you want to see more of this, more police sim leaks, make sure to subscribe. Because your boy is still getting more of that ammunition. More of that ammunition to shell out to you guys to show you what's new and what's going on. So, once again, make sure to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow, or maybe even later today, with a bonus video. I already got a couple of you guys that I want to make bonus videos for, so we're moving. You'll see it. I'll comment on your comment. There's a bonus video in the works. You know, if you see that comment, the next bonus video that comes out after you see that comment is yours. So make sure to check it out, because let me tell you, I'm going to be salty if you don't check it out. But yeah, anywho. I just completely ruined the intro or outro. Uh, click on the videos that are popping up here, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow or maybe even later today. All right. Bye, guys.